Hello there, and thank you for choosing to tune in and watch this unboxing and review video here at Angie's Art Addict's YouTube channel. My name is Angie, and yes, I am an art addict and coloring addict severe. <laughs> so, um, what you see before you is a somewhat unboxing. I had to cheat. I was so impressed by the packaging for this book. First of all, it is a pretty um, expensive book, I would say, high-end book, but you definitely get what you pay for. Um, it is called Circle Portraits, and it is by Laura Rafferty, I believe you pronounce it. It's um, often known on YouTube and Instagram as Laura Colors 2, and um, her work is colored by so many amazing artists. Uh, Maria Payne is one that I follow and am just obsessed with. The beauty that she just can bring to a black and white image is insane. Um, a lot of other ones, too. I can't name right off the top of my head. Um, her book has been reviewed by so many amazing uh, YouTube people, such as um, both the Claire's, I believe, Color with Claire and Claire, uh, what is her last name? Um, can't think of it right now. I'm so sorry, Claire. Um, and Sammy, I believe, has done some with Color with Sammy. So with no further ado, um, this package was in pristine order. It was um, bubble wrapped and also in a plastic wrap. Then this is completely hard, um, has her sticker uh, with all her information on it. And then when you open it up, you know, it's sealed completely. And I do believe inside it was also, yeah, it was also bubble wrapped in here, like tight as could be. There is a handwritten note. Thanks so much, Angela. I hope you have a wonderful time coloring. Love, Laura. Um, I do believe all of these are, um, you know, in every box, um, specifically for each person. She mails these out herself. I do believe, if I'm incorrect, she sure does a good job, you know, making it seem that way. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. It is absolutely gorgeous. I guess I had thought that it was going to be a spiral. Um, look, let me turn this over here. I apologize. Um, let me see this lighting if that's I think that might be better there I had my alt light on it, but I think that might be more natural there and better so um, As you can see it's circle portraits by Laura Rafferty this white line right here was not on it Before um, I had opened it and was showing it to a friend and kind of like pressed it and when I pressed it And then I closed it again. I had seen that white line which isn't a problem I just wanted to let anybody know that seen it that was not you know on there to begin with um, says on the side here, Laura Rafferty, Circle Portraits Coloring Book, First Edition, so there'd be more to come. On the back here, you can see that there are 42 um, illustrations, uh, cover art, there you go, cover art by Maria Payne. So, as you can see, she is insanely talented, so beautiful, um, has lots of videos on YouTube, has a uh, Facebook page as well says, dwell deep into the world of portrait coloring with 42 illustrations of varying themes, including fantasy, myth, and legend, steampunk, mermaids, and modern day faces. Um, they're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous and worth every dollar. I completely believe so. So let's take a look inside. So the cover is a slick, um, looks like it'll be pretty sturdy. Um, I don't see it being a book that's gonna be you know, easily destructed. This is the um, one that is very famous online if you're into this stuff by Maria Payne that she did. And then right here, it is signed by her. Um, and it also has a place for you to put your name. So it would be by Laura Rafferty in collaboration with and then your name. So, also I might note that um, Maria Payne has um, on her website she does a lot of work like this and every once in a while she will ask on her um, Facebook if there's anyone that would be interested in being sent some of her colorings and she you know gets the first people's names who you know volunteer and as long as you pay for the shipping she mails them to you and I can't tell you when she does it or who she does it you know or what time of the year she does it or whatever but I do know that it's legit and she really does send you this stuff so she would like you know take one of the colorings out of her coloring book and mail it to you via you know probably USPS and um, then you pay the shipping and you have a beautiful piece of art to 
you know, do with what you will. I had told her that it way if, or when I get one, I definitely will be putting it on my wall. So anyways, a um, little bit about her, you know, making amazing things out of these beautiful portraits. So here's the cover right here. And here's the image. And I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to go somewhat through all these. Here's a little girl with some beautiful braids in her hair and cute little glasses around their flowers. We have lots of animals in this book. Here's a snail with a, snail, a snail girl, I guess, with a turtle or tortoise. Here's a girl with um, antlers and beautiful hair with kind of like a uh, wooden wreath around her. She's a beautiful butterfly unicorn girl <laughs> or with elf ears. I'm not sure what she is, but she's gorgeous. Uh, let's see here. We have a maybe like a, a Colombian or African American uh, girl. With beautiful would be beautiful with light brown skin or dark brown, either one. Um, beautiful curly hair. I think those are butterfly wings. If you hear some howling in the background, it's my screen door. When the wind blows really hard, it makes a horrible noise. Here's some wings and some jewels. Oh, this is a wedding ring. I've seen this one done and it was gorgeous. That's what it is, or maybe not a wedding ring, but a ring. It was really beautiful done. And here's another guy with awesome curly hair, lots of different colors you could put in there. And he's got a elephant fairy, maybe? She's an awesome imagination. Awesome imagination. And a palm flower, and maybe like some sort of islander or something. It's a steampunk girl with beautiful eyes. You could do so many things with that. A little girl with the, uh, like, um, airplane, not airplane, uh, pilots, like, uh, glasses. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, she looks like pink. Does that not look like the artist pink in a fairy version? <laughs> I think so completely with the hairdo and all. So anyways, there is pink maybe with a dragon. Um, let's see here. We have another little boy. Kind of matches the little girl over here. Let's see. With the, uh, I cannot think. Aviator. Aviator goggles. That's what they are. Aviator goggles. You can see back and forth with a cat in that one. Oh, man. You can hear the howling in my house. Could you imagine hearing that? <laughs> At night, my four-year-old son is so brave. He never gets up and says he's scared or anything. <laughs> um, anyways, we've tried to get it fixed. Uh, looks like maybe a woman um, who's gotten married with a baby there. Not to the baby, but holding a baby. Uh, let's see here. This is another one that I've seen done by Maria Payne and many others. Beautifully done with the parrot or whatever type of bird you want to make it. It's like a steampunk pirate hat. This gentleman I've seen done very, very handsomely. I think that's a word. And we have... Maybe like this could be like the uh, father and mother. Let me see. I think he has the go the Google the goggles on too. So maybe be the father, the mother, the dog, and the two kids. That's what I see. But that's just my own imagination, I guess. Let's see here. This one I was showing it to a friend, and I think that looks like uh, Ivan Ivanka Trump. Is that her name? Looks like the president's wife when she went on safari in Africa. They were all making jokes about her outfit because it was very typical, like, um, African safari outfit. <laughs> so it kind of does look like her. Uh, this gentleman, I think, is absolutely just amazing looking. He looks like the guy who lives down the street with lots of uh, recycled cans and, uh, like, uh, rims to cars up on his uh, gate or whatever. Steampunk type stuff. Really, cr you know, a creator, and inventor. And we have here a, looks like maybe a woman with a, oh, come on, Angela, what are the words? Like a helmet for, um, you know, going into war. And she has a, a hawk by her, bird of prey. And here's the other picture that is very famous, I think so. And let's see here. We have a hummingbird, beautiful woman, beautiful eyes. I love the eyes with a hummingbird in her... Oh, what is that flower? It isn't a hibiscus. It might be, I don't know. I can't think. And just a really average modern day face. I guess any face is not modern. You know what I'm trying to say. Nothing fancy about this one, I guess you could say. Just a pretty average face. Pretty girl. So here we have a warrior, some type. 
a guy very well done very very perfect in the face I love that and <clears throat> kind of looks like maybe a Hawaiian woman and I'm not sure about the snow because I don't think it snows in Hawaii but definitely looks like some type of um, Islander ethnicity maybe as you can see very beautiful very beautiful I see the mountains behind it and see the flowers would have made me think um, like Hawaiian ish and then I seen the snowflakes but I could be incorrect I don't claim to know much if anything <laughs> about much anyways so here we have um, a beautiful girl roses bird in her hair and it almost looks like the mountain and the waterfall is her shoulder but I don't think I don't know if that's what she was trying to uh, do there if that's just what I'm seeing from this angle because I'm not at a great angle here Now we get into the water stuff It was kind of weird because I started from the back going forward talking to a friend on video chat and everything seemed like it was fish related and So we were kind of wondering if the whole book was but it was not as you've seen here's the first one It's a trident. That is the word we were trying to come up with a word for this and it is a trident so a man with a trident and a fish and a uh, sea turtle we have um, and this one looks like maybe some uh, Islander or um, maybe like Vietnamese children um, just based it on their you know their features and the fish there very very pretty let me get my hand out of there that's not right I apologize there and here's a beautiful woman in water we got sharks around her lotus flowers lots of different things um, Here's another one with like fish incorporated around her. And then this one we have, let me make sure I didn't skip a page. The paper, by the way, is so good for like colored pencils and so forth. You could probably use markers. I def you definitely use markers, but I would definitely want to put a paper underneath them. Here we have, um, I don't, you could make it a girl or a boy. Either one of those could be a girl or a boy. This one kind of looks like it has elf ears. I'm not real sure, but you could probably cover that up if you didn't want it to be that way. And then uh, different ocean creatures there. Another one, beautiful woman with a seahorse. This one was interesting. We were joking and said this one could be the mom and then those two could be the kid because they're both very ethnic looking. Um, this one has fish ears or, or gills, should I say, maybe. I don't think those are gills. What are those? Fins. And kind of looking through a, maybe like a submarine's uh, window looking in at humans wondering what the heck and maybe she's a mermaid or some oh there's her gills maybe she's a mermaid of some sort and this is a beautiful little girl with a kitten and some butterflies and another one that's very famous on youtube and instagram and a little girl with her horse and this one is of a kind of looks like a teenager or maybe you know, preteen reading a book and coming alive while it's in her hands. And I thought this one was very sweet and beautiful. It is of an elderly couple or older couple. Maybe celebrating their anniversary with the music around it and dancing. You could really do that one beautifully and present it maybe in a plaque of some sort for a family member's, you know, anniversary or something like that and put a picture up here. You know their name and maybe a poem on a big piece of wood I've done something like that before for um, an anniversary for a marriage that I'm no longer in anyways um, this is a handsome young gentleman uh, with lots of things around him from traveling looks like Paris and Rome and lots of other cool things and then we have a little girl or little boy doesn't really say or couldn't really tell with a frog I know my little girl was all into all of this stuff, so it could be definitely be either. And then I think the last picture is a self-portrait. I do believe, I could be totally wrong, but I do believe it is, of Laura, beautiful young girl, and all the things that she uses, her gel pens, her pencils, and all the things from her imagination. I hope I'm right. <laughs> and the paper is not, um, Perforated. It is not perforated. It looks like it might be, but it's definitely not. It looks like it's sewed in, so that's good. Then this was very interesting. I really fell in love with the book when I seen this. This is, um, do you hear my howling door? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Face elements, bits of portraits, 
for practice and shading. So you have the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears, and the hair. Now look, I want to bring us up close here. Is that not just absolutely amazing? So you get to practice on things before you actually put in the paper because these pages are just so beautiful you don't want to mess them up. But this gives you an opportunity to play with it and practice them. And then on the last page, you actually have an entire page full of practice portraits. Um, so I would say that these are probably maybe two inches diameter of, uh, let's see here, 16 portraits for you to be able to practice skin tones. It says skin tone sketches, mini circle portraits for color experimentation. And then in the back page, um, you know, has a little bit there for you. And I've already showed you that farther back page. And I did want to say though, and I hope this isn't against the, you know, not rules, but the way people do things. But uh, me and my friend did notice um, a lot of similarities so much that it made us question whether they're the same artists. Both amazingly talented, beautiful people. I can't even brag enough, but their artwork is so similar. And if I'm not incorrect, one is in I know I'm gonna mess this up totally on both. I believe she is in either Russia, Czechoslovakia, somewhere around that area, I do believe. Could be totally wrong. Russia, somewhere around there. Um, I do believe she's in Canada. Um, totally could be wrong there too. <laughs> but I think that's somewhere correct. So obviously they're not the same people. Um, but it is insane how similar their portraits are. And the circle, I don't know if, if you know, how that came about, but are they not just so similar? Let me drag that down some. Probably best do it this way. There we go. So it's it's amazing. It really is. And both of them are high quality paper, high quality books, beautiful artistry, you know, beautiful paper, everything. But and the eyes, the eyes are so gorgeous. <coughs> Excuse me. I would say that the Mysteria is a little bit bigger, the paper. And it's an off-white, where this one is a pure white. Um, let me think of anything else that I could say about them. And I don't want to, you know, compare them because I don't know if that's a good or bad thing to do in this community. But they're, they're so similar and beautiful and just, just beautiful sketches. Anyways, I will say that I bought this uh, Mysteria off of Etsy. And I did purchase it as a... Uh, damaged uh, book. It was like a $35, $40 book. Plus shipping was going to make it like almost a $50 book. And I just could not pay that. And then I uh, found this and it made it a $14.99 book from the seller. So this right here was damaged and it didn't damage any of the pages. But um, I think that one was a little bit damaged if you can see there. Just a little bit. That's when I had started. Um, but I thought it was a steal, and it was one I'd been looking at for a long time and just trying to keep telling myself no, and I finally got it. And so I think with shipping, after it being a damaged good, I think I paid about $35 for it. And when I got it, I was really upset because it just came in a manila envelope. And I live in a place where we have lock boxes, little small lock boxes, you know, in a big area. And the mailman had taken it and bent it like this and shoved it in my mailbox. And when I seen it, my heart just dropped because I just knew it was going to be damaged. And this morning, I made it to the post office because I knew this was coming. I made it to the post office before they could even put it in the vehicle. And I actually, over the weekend, had my mail stopped because I didn't want the same thing to happen to this book. I had it literally, my mail stopped for the next two weeks, put a hold mail on it because of this book. I did not want them to take it and twist it and shove it in there. And so I went and picked it up. And I was so happy when I seen this huge, you know, package and I just felt it. And I was like, oh yeah, there's no way, you know, they're going to bend this sucker and put it in there. So it was such a blessing. And the book is such a blessing and, you know, their artistry is amazing. So I just wanted to do a quick, you know, review and flip through and comparison because they're both beautiful and I wouldn't recommend one over the other. If you have any questions or comments, please do so below. Um... Have a blessed and wonderful, beautiful day. And this is probably twisted all around on you. I'm so sorry. Still trying to work out the kinks here. Um, I'm going to hang out with my Helen door and get to coloring. Hope you have a blessed day. Thanks again.